Welcome to my channel IT Smart Training. Now we are going to learn Mailbox Database Path Change Process in Exchange Server 2019. If it is informative, please like and subscribe my video and press the bell icon to get more up to date. Let's start the lab. So now I just go to the exchange admin center uh, under the servers under the database I just see here are several database over here so now I want to change the path so at first I have to log in into the exchange server this is my exchange server I just go to the this PC and the C drive I just create a folder named test hyphen DB okay <coughs> excuse me so I want to move I want to move my this test database to that folder so my current test database location is program files Microsoft exams the default path the database default path where by default the database is stored okay so now I have to move that database to that particular location okay so how how we can move that just go to that go to here exchange server and open exchange management shell at first we provide a command to get hyphen mailbox database to show how many databases we have get mailbox database here you can see that there are four mailbox database we I have shown you in the GUI environment so I want to move the test database into that test DB folder for the default location so now I want to move the database mailbox so move hyphen database path equals to identity database name is my test ADB file path c colon backslash test db the database name is test.edb edb is the extension of the database log file path c test db logs and the log name is test so i just copy the whole command and paste it over here c i have it's giving me the warning I just press yes just move it I just yes yes please move it it's moving it was dismounted the database done see I just check my database are showing or not yes my database are showing so if I go to the exchange admission center I just refresh once this is mounted database just double click on it see the database path is changed and I can also see here also in the test DB here is my test DB file and the logs are under here okay so I think this video is informative to you so if it is informative Please like my video and subscribe my channel. Thank you.